Supporting an aging parent can be challenging, especially when you can't be there with them all the time. Whether you're in another city or another state or you're just around the corner, sometimes life happens and you just can't be there for them. So in this video, I'm going to share with you three amazing resources that can help your parent stay home longer and safer when you can't be there to help. Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sophia. I make videos to help you support your aging parents by giving you the best strategies, information, and resources so you can both have better outcomes. Today, we're gonna to talk about three awesome resources for your parent that can be total game changers, especially when family can't be around to help them as much as they want. These resources are gonna give both of you the peace of mind that you've been looking for. First up is Vet Assist. This program is a lifesaver for veterans and their families. Vet Assist helps with the application process for the VA's Aid and Attendant Program, which provides a pension to eligible veterans who are in need of personal care services in the home. If you're not familiar with the process of applying for the Aid and Attendant Program, what you do is submit an, an intent to apply to the VA. And then you have one whole year to complete your application. Once your application is submitted, then they take about three to six months, maybe longer, to actually give you a determination letter and a payment. However, that first payment will be a lump sum amount retroed back to the day you originally submitted your intent to file form. So when I was applying for my dad, his first lump sum payment was about $15,000. But what if you can't wait all those months because your parent needs help right now and there's no money to privately pay for care? Well, this is where Vet Assist comes in. This agency will screen the veteran or their surviving spouse with you if needed. And they're gonna see if your parent uh, qualifies for the aid and attendant program. If so, they're gonna help you with the whole application process. It's gonna make it much smoother and quicker and alleviate a lot of your stress. And what makes Vet Assist truly special is its large network of contracted home care agencies just about in every state in the U.S. They can quickly hire one of those agencies to provide caregiving services for your parent, and they're going to pay for those services. Then, Vet Assist is going to offer you a loan that doesn't require repayment. This allows services to begin right away. And once those lump, that lump sum payment comes in from the VA, then you repay the loan to Vet Assist. Another really positive thing that I know a lot of family members want is that they can work it out so a family member can even get paid for caregiving services starting right now while waiting for the aid and attendant program funds. Game changer, right? On the downside, if you are trying to apply for the aid and attendant program and you intend to use the pension money for something other than caregiving services in the home, such as um, for adult day health care or an assisted living facility, then Vet Assist cannot help you. But for those of you whose veteran parent needs help right now in the home, this is a great option. You can take a quick survey on their website to see if your parent will qualify for the program and then put a referral in at the same time. Their website is veteranshomecare.com and I'll put a link to their site in the description box below. Next, one of the ongoing problems for some of our parents is that they forget to take their medications. While for other parents, they may forget they already took it and take it again. Both of these problems can lead to a whole range of issues from minor health setbacks to severe health complications or even an overdose, depending on the medication. Mismanaging medication can result in ineffective treatment, more ER visits and hospitalizations, and a decrease in your parents' overall health. And sometimes an inability to take their own medication is the one and only thing that keeps them from being able to continue to live at home alone. 
Sometimes a decision is made to move a senior into an assisted living facility just because of this one reason. And in my experience, when my dad was in an assisted living facility, the cost for medication management was an extra more than $400 a month over and above the, over and above the regular cost of the assisted living, which I thought was absurd. And that's just my opinion. But this brings me to my next recommendation, the AI-driven Hero Medication Alarm and Dispenser. This amazing, <laughs> amazing little gadget is going to ensure that your parent will never miss a dose of their medication again. The Hero can hold up to 90 days worth of 10 medications. That's huge. Once it's all set up, it's going to alarm and let your parent know that it's time to take their meds. But if they don't take their medication within 15 minutes, you or another family member is going to receive a text message and so that you can contact your parent to make sure they take their medication. This can give you the peace of mind knowing that you're not going to be alerted unless your parent does not take their dose. So in this case, no news is good news. So to answer a few of your questions about Hero, you are going to need a smartphone to get the device set up in the beginning, maybe yours, but it's not required that your parent have a smartphone but they will require a Wi-Fi connection in their home. You might even be able to have Hero covered by Medicare under Medicare Part B's Remote Therapeutic Monitoring Services benefit. There is a link in their website way down at the bottom where you can check to see if Hero might be covered for your parent under their insurance. If it's not covered by insurance, you can still get it by private paying a monthly monitoring fee for the Hero of about $30 a month. Um, and you can try it for 90 days, uh, so if your parent doesn't like it or they can't use it, you can get a full refund. As a disclosure, I am an affiliate partner for Hero because I believe that it really has a unique ability to keep your parent on track with their meds and staying at home longer. If you click the link in the description, I may earn a little commission, but at no extra cost to you. And you are under no obligation to use my link if you don't want to. Last, I want to talk about a great program that's filling a huge and important need for the seniors living alone. Loneliness is a big problem for many of your parents. It can really affect their mental health, leading to isolation and depression, less motivation to take care of themselves. This often means they don't follow through with medical care or self-care, which can lead to worse health and safety issues and unfortunately shorter lives. It's such a big problem that CMS or the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services is really pushing to find solutions to what they call social drivers of health. Here is where the, the need lies. Let's say your parent has been getting by, quote, well enough that they don't need a nurse to come in and check on them, and they're doing physically well enough that they might not even need a caregiver. But you and I, we know that that doesn't necessarily mean that they're doing fine and they're okay. Their loneliness and isolation could be taking a toll on their physical and mental well-being. Enter Papa. Papa is a company that contracts with over 100 Medicare Advantage plans and health plans and even Medicaid managed plans all across the United States. They offer a service to send out what they call a Papa Pal, which is an individual who will go into your parents' home, not as a caregiver and do hands-on care, but more for hands-off social things like maybe light housekeeping or running errands or driving. They'll even just come by and provide some companionship to maybe play a game, do crafts or go for a walk. They'll take your parents shopping or go to appointments or to places of worship or whatever your parent needs to feel like they are not isolated and alone. The Papa Pal also has a really unique opportunity because they are also the eyes of the health plan in your parents' home to find out things that are going on that might be putting your parent at risk health-wise. For instance, while in the home, they may notice that your parent is unsteady on their feet, but that there are no grab bars in the bathroom. So that Papa Pal is able to report directly through their app that information to the health plan, who in turn will make an internal referral to one of their departments to try to see if they can get that unmet need met and get some bars in the bathroom. 
Or if the Papa Pal notices that there's not adequate food in the house and they report that back to the health plan immediately, then the plan can get their case management department involved who could make referrals to community resources and maybe get home delivered meals to your parent. And your parent can request to have the same Papa Pal every time, which is a really great opportunity for them to build a really nice buddy, or I should say pal relationship. And that pal could be covered by insurance. I kind of think that I want to become a Papa Pal because it sounds like a really fun job. So why would health plans want to cover non-medical services? Well, it's because it's been shown that decreasing loneliness can greatly improve motivation, medical compliance, and therefore decrease hospital admissions, which of course saves the health plans money, tons of money, so it's worth it to them. So it really is a win-win situation. The downside is because socialization is not a Medicare or Medicaid benefit. If your parent has straight Medicare or Medicaid, they're not going to be covered. However, PAPA contracts with over a hundred plans, Medicare Advantage plans, Medicaid health plan managed plans across the U.S. So there's a really good chance that your parent is covered if they have one of these. If you call Papa and try to get information, they're just going to refer you to your parents' health plan. So just start there, call member services of the health plan, and ask if they have Papa services available. You can get more information at papa.com. These three resources can make a huge difference in the lives of seniors and your parent, especially when you just can't be nearby to help out. From managing the medications with Hero, accessing immediate care with Vet Assist, to finding companionship through the PAPA program, there's something here to help every senior live a better, safer, and more connected life. I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. Or visit the websites linked in the description. Don't forget to like, share, or subscribe for more tips on supporting your aging parents. Thank you so much for watching today. I'll see you next time.